you know, a lot of them are teachers, educators. When you talk to them and see them, in my mind, they steal that 16, 17-year-old kid. And when I ask them how old they are, 48, 49, 50. What? <laughs> oh, hey, I got one for you. My 87 city championship team, they're all having their 50th birthdays. I know. That's how I, I'm I like, in the truck last week, a couple weeks ago. And he told yeah. me he's 51. I'm like, what? I'm like, man, what a time. I mean, again. When you reunite, reunite with them, it seemed like just yesterday. You just kind of pick up where you So it, it shows, to me, it shows how young we were coaching them because yeah, I'm going to have my 64th birthday next month. I'm only, so, I'm only 13, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, damn. <laughs> well, go ahead on then. Uh, wait, but, wait, wait, you wait, know, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this about you been inducted into a couple Hall of Fames? And I ain't been inducted people. into no Hall of Fame now. Oh well, you better play. You always been trying to catch up, Mike. It's just, I see. I mean, what talk about your Hall of Fame? What you in the CBS Hall of Fame? The state I'm in the I'm in the CBS Hall of Fame, and I'm in the uh, Illinois Wrestling uh, Hall of Fame uh, for broadcasting. My broadcasting career, Lifetime Achievement Award with the state of Illinois for broadcasting. You know that type of stuff. You know, I had a broadcasting and a media career, much like you. But I did – well, yeah, I actually did – I did a lot of interviews and stuff like that. And, uh, of course, I wrote for the Sun-Times Sports Department. So – and then, uh, this, you know, my high school Hall of Fame. So how you get a leg up on me and get in the Hall of Fame? We're going to talk about that now. Well, all you do is you set your cell phone right next to your desk or your bed, and then it just ring one day. Ding a ling a ling. Hello. Yes, we'd like to induct you into the Hall of Fame. Oh, okay. What's the date I got to show up? I don't know how this stuff happens, Mike. They call me. People, Do I have to call people, myself or what? Uh, I don't know how it works. Would count if I call myself and tell them what myself. Oh, would count if you call your? Yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm, in, the um, I'm in the Mike Bade Hall of Fame. <laughs> I mean, you know. All these people that we're talking about uh, could easily be in some type of Hall of Fame, but we don't have one for baseball in Chicago, really, that would apply to us. There's no reason you shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, any, all these guys, uh, Leroy Franklin in the Illinois High School Baseball Coach Association Hall of Fame, you know, is, um, I don't know, it's recognition. But it's, you know, um, oh, matter of fact, they just sent this to me in the mail right here. Can't really see it because it's glass. But that's my Hall of Fame plaque for high school. Just just came in the mail the other day because I broke it when I was moving. The only thing that I moved from Arizona and broke was that. But, you know, it's just, it's just a trophy. It's, what's more important is the recognition that someone saw the work that I was putting in, or anybody that gets into a Hall of Fame. You know, uh, it's just like Dick Allen just died, and he's not in the Hall of Fame, but they're talking about, well, he probably was going to get elected this year. Yeah. But they waited too long, and he's dead. And that's one of the hardest things is to, I've been on these committees, is to give someone a Hall of Fame award or some type of award like that posthumously. Yeah. It's like, but what if we have did it a year earlier, two years earlier, so they could enjoy it? Yeah. You know, um, let me try to see who I can talk to. We don't have to get to it. But you know what? In all honesty, I tell you, I know you remember Daniel Harvey, lefty from High Park. Yeah. He called me maybe about three, four months ago, out of the blue, thanking me for being there when they was shorties and, you know, telling me how much he appreciate me for being a mentor, this and that. And, you know, Maiden being Maiden, I'm cracking jokes while he talking. He goes, man, will you stop? You know how hard it is for a man to call another man to tell him he love you. And, yeah, I mean, it touched me. I mean, I kid you not, this is about four months ago. And I, I hadn't even thought about the fact that I've been coaching 40 years. So I finished talking to him. And I said, damn, it's been 40 years. And I put together that past player page on Facebook. With it blew up. Players, and we 
we got the tributes going. And I was doing one with one of my players, Josh Locke from Whitney Young, a couple weeks ago. And I said, you know, he and the players say what they're saying. It's like I'm getting my flowers while I'm still alive. Exactly. They're not coming That's the key. And, you know, we do the interviews with some of them. Um, some of um, them, you know, and then some of um, them, I sit back and listen to them and a little tear go down my eye and memories come back. So I guess in that sense, I'm being inducted into the Hall of Fame by all of those guys when I... Well, when I, well think about it. We all we both went to Tom Haas' funeral. Yeah. And a lot of the players showed up there and had a lot of positive things to say. Mm -hmm. But I know that he never heard those things exactly. while alive. Exactly. Because of his, I don't know, type personality. You know, he's a stern well, taskmaster. To, to, to one another until they go. Because even right. at the funeral, you know, we used to go on the black funerals where you get a chance to get up and say something. I was right. looking for that opportunity to get up and say something about Haas and being a priest. Mm -hmm. Him giving me the chance, CBS, that I never told him. Never even thought about it during that time. So, you know, like I say, to hear the players reflect back, it's been touching. It's been touching. But, but you, yeah, because you don't know what someone thinks about you until they tell you what they think about you. Exactly. You know, I mean, I get a lot of, a lot of guys write me on Facebook because I'm on Facebook. I ain't got nothing else to do. Uh, what else I got to do? What? That's my wife in there saying I got something else to do. She always got a honey do this. <laughs> but, you know, players write me. Um, yeah. And so to me, to give a person that little bit of joy to yeah. say, oh, I was on my high school team. We had a good team. I contributed. Yeah. And we talked again. And it's, it's just nice to hear from players like that. Yeah. You know, when I talk with Lou Collier, when I talk with, Jeff Lattimore, when I talk with Mike Davis, you know, these are all guys that they they share how you impacted their life back then. Yeah. Well, you know, we got players this year, we got players next year, we got players a year after that. You just you keep changing over your thing, and you don't really realize how you impact in their lives. Yeah. You know, uh and invariably someone will say, We need to have a reunion. So you know we've had some many reunions. <laughs> you know, we had the one, was it at Thornwood that day? You were right. out there yeah. when Haas was still alive. We had the one at my house before I moved with Dennis. Yeah. But I'm thinking since this is your 40th year, yeah. and see, when you think about it, our players are getting older, which means we're getting older. So and I'm only 13. My bad. I keep forgetting. You're getting Thank you. younger. Thank you. Uh, but we need to maybe do something. But man, 40 years, Mike, and you still ain't got no gray hair because you ain't got no hair. That's why I ain't got no hair because I ain't going to let it show. <laughs> I never thought I would go bald, but with that gray style going in, you know, time to go, right? Time to go. I, I, I'm not gray don't work for me. Man, yeah. 40 years, dude. I don't know how many years, I don't know. All I know is I started coaching that team that Dennis gave me, 1976. Wow. So let's see. Long? I started in 80. Yeah. I started with my brother-in-law for 80, 81. What was your first team? The first team I coached was the Pirates. The first team with my brother-in-law was the Tigers. Mm-hmm. Well, what league was that? Oh, South Shore. We started South Shore? Shore where Dennis was president of the league. Man. Nothing lasts forever, including us. I'll be around in forever. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. I, I'm very well connected man. with the man upstairs, so we got a personal relationship. I'm trying to I'm trying to do at least 90 to 100 years. Yeah, well, hey, That's no, my plan. I'm like my mother. Long as I'm... I'm healthy. I'm fine. I don't want to be a burden on nobody. Mm -hmm. My mother, mm -hmm. my mother's saying, "You have to stay physically fit." Yeah. But man, it's great talking to you, Mike. Man, I enjoyed this. We man. Got